Predator 3 and the Special section. It's divided in two parts. The first part is the Intelligent Preset Variation Generator and the second part is the Preset Morphing. But before you start using this feature, the best thing to do is to create your own bank folder. For this, go up here in the Bank Manager and select down here New and create your own bank folder. So for instance, 110 Own Presets. You see it appearing here. This we will use to store your own presets. I simply start with the first preset of Predator 3 from the introduction bank. Now down here you can see a button called Generate, Amount and Undo. And below here you have four selectors for selecting four different ranges of parameters. Now we start now with parameter range 1 and open the amount and I press Generate. Then I play the keyboard and simply listen to it. Hey, and this could be already a very cool sound. So maybe you only need to have one action and then you simply go up here, save as or save in folder and you save this preset in your own folder with a new name. If you don't like it, you press undo. Then it's back to the original state. You could change then again a different amount and press generate. And if you don't like that one again, press undo. Now you, you might go to a different parameter range and you pick a certain amount and you press generate again. And so on and so on. So, so this you can continue and each time with undo, you go back one step and with generate, you simply go to a next variation. And once you have a good sound, of course, save it to your own bank folder. This allows you to morph between two different presets. First of all, it is wise to go already in your own preset folder bank and select the default preset. Then you select here in preset A, your preset, and in preset B, your preset. Well, I selected here one preset from the introduction bank and by play, I can audition it. The second preset is also from the introduction bank, but a different one. And this one I also can audition here. Next, I open this morph dial and press generate. I can play here this button to have audition of this new morphed preset. So we had A. We had B. And now the morphed one is this one. Of course, I can also play the keyboard. To audition the sound, and if you like the sound, save the preset in your own folder with a new name. Additionally, you can put on filters. So if you have one particular preset and you dislike to have the high pass filtered, taken in account while morphing, you can filter these. Of course, the end result is always a surprise, but very often you end up with a very cool new preset. Enjoy!